New York, the Big Apple, the city that never sleeps. From Broadway to Harlem, New York City has been the home of so much history. So how come we don't take care of it? Last year, New York City ranked as the 15th most polluted city in the United States. Motor vehicles, home heating, and industrial facilities in the city released chemicals and particles into the air, damaging its quality. The dangerous greenhouse gases like sulfur dioxide, carbon, and nitrogen oxides are trapped in the atmosphere and worsen climate change, of which the effects have been very significant in New York. Since 1970, the average annual temperature in the state has risen by about 2.4 degrees Fahrenheit, and sea levels around the coast have already risen by over a foot just since 1990. If these patterns continue, we will be more at risk of things like heat-related illnesses, insect-transmitted diseases, problems in agriculture production, and many more afflictions that result from a changing climate. Out of all the pollutants in New York City, however, particulate matter, PM2.5, is the most prominent. All types of combustion produce these tiny particles that penetrate deep into the lungs, causing inflammation of the airways, exacerbating lung and heart disease, and contributing to premature mortality. This map shows the average annual concentration of particulate matter in New York in micrograms per cubic meter of air. The World Health Organization only allows this number to be 10, which 12 New York City neighborhoods exceed. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency even deemed the air quality of the city unhealthy for at-risk people, such as the elderly, children, and those with lung disease. But this can change. Imagine a greener New York, one where you can breathe fresh air and don't have to worry about your children inhaling harmful chemicals and particles. One that you can be proud of, for not only does it feel better, it gives back. To New York. To the Earth. The solution? Green roofs. Green roofs help the environment in nearly every way, not to mention the beauty and comfort they add to the view. The implementation of these green spaces offers habitats to animals, cools the climate, extends the lifeline of the building, and catches particulate matter. If every building in New York City with a flat roof had one, all of these factors would improve greatly. Just take a look at Zurich's green roof requirement. Since it was implemented in 1991, they have seen great rewards in energy saving, money saving, biodiversity, and water quality because of the effect on the water cycle. It is no coincidence they have the highest water quality in the world. If you believe in a greener New York, join us. Help us lobby for mandatory green roofs in the city so that we can have a clean future.